Hi guys, it's Tracy from my grandma's teacups and I apologize this movie is or sorry this haul video is just like it's totally messed up because I was trying to record it and I started to and then the dog barked and then my camera fell over and like it's just it was crazy so I actually got the part of the video that had the products so I'm going to save that part of it and I'm just going to give you this little preamble part just so that you know that I'm not like totally crazy and started in the middle of a of a haul video um this package is my design team um supplies that I ordered um received from uh canvas core that um, they own Seven Gypsies, Tattered Angels, and Camas Core products. And um, I'm on the 2016 team, and I'm so excited. And um, so I put in my request list in December because they do it pretty cool. Um, a lot of design teams will just, like, send you a box, and you just, like, okay, do something with it kind of but um canvas core actually let us choose our own products so we had our choice of all three stores basically it, we could have anything that we wanted um to start out and so for me it was all about the glimmer mist because i just love tattered angels glimmer, glimmer mist and i always have and i'm so excited to get to use it like this year like you know as part of a design team and the fact that they have the canvas core products and the seven gypsies is just, it's amazing. And I'm so blessed. So I am going to, uh, you know, do that editing thing and stick this part in the beginning. Um, and then let you see all the stuff that I got, but basically this is my design kit for 2016 for canvas core brands. So, uh, the creative crew. So enjoy. All right. Thanks. This set is to make metal look really aged and rusty and really cool looking. And my husband, he doesn't understand it because he's like always trying to get the rust off of stuff and I'm trying to put it back on. So we're at odds here, but this is really cool and I'm excited to work with this set. So once we start doing some projects with this, I will uh, definitely show them with you guys. And I got some small paper bags. And these are really excellent for mini albums because they are so perfectly flat. Um, I know you can get the, the Recollections ones, um, which are good, but, but I just really love these ones. So I'm going to be making a little tiny mini album with this. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. Oh, these are actually discontinued. Sorry, you can't have one. But... Um, I'm going to do this up and then I'm going to show you how to make one yourself using Canvas Core products. And what it is, is um, when you do different techniques, um, sometimes we do them and then we for, kind of forget how we did it. Um, so this is a system to help you um, keep track of what, what your method was that you used that you really liked. So if you were working with a particular paint or a gesso that you really like and uh, working with certain colors of Tattered Angel sprays, then you kind of keep a swatch of it and kind of a recipe book for your um, all of your creative work. So this is going to be really fun. And I, again, I'll help you to make one. And this is the album that it goes in. And I'm sorry again, it's it's been discontinued, but if you hurry to the Canvas Core site, um, it is in the clearance stuff, so maybe you could get one because it's it's pretty awesome. <laughs> okay. And seven gypsies journal pages. So I'm gonna be working on a journal and show you how how to put those together. This is the Epicurean journal pages this is a chipboard tabbed book for making mini albums um, it's I like that it's black because it, it lets me do you know a different a whole different feel for it so um, once we get the project going with this I will show you that one as well lots of mini albums on my plan for this year and this is a book cover These are so cute. I'm going to make an itty bitty teeny weeny craft um, album with these. Again, they're, they're just, they're perfectly smooth. And they're so nice to work with. 
And I got the Seven Gypsies Wanderlust 8x8 Variety Pad. So that I'll be able to use this to work in the journals. Look at these papers, though. They're so vintage. Everything we love about Seven Gypsies, I think. I can't wait to start crafting with this. And this is the grand big part of it. This is what I've been waiting for since I put my my uh, request list in before Christmas. Um, I have always had a lot of Tattered Angels Glimmer Mists. Um, when they first came on the market, I just fell in love with them. And I think I bought out like every color that they had at the time. And, and I just used them on everything. And over the years, I've still used them quite a bit. But then um, in the last year, I started doing a lot of um, 3D pieces, a lot more um, rolled roses and stuff like that. And you just can't beat Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. They're just the coolest things. And my kids use them. They love them. They think it's wonderful. So I just want to show you the what colors that I got. Wedding Pink. I don't know if the light's good that you'll be able to see the true color. But this is called Wedding Pink. And this one is Dazzling Diamonds which I think is going to be so nice. And this one is Red Chilies. Black Cherry. Can you see that? This one is Kiwi. When you're shaking Tattered Angels Mist, try not to go like that because you don't want the um, the mica powder to go up and clog the sprayer. So just kind of try to agitate it back and forth this way. That is, oops, oops, going the wrong way here. Kiwi. I must have really liked Dazzling Diamonds. I guess I ordered two by mistake. It's okay. okay. Dark Vintage Green. Can you see that? Look, somebody's on Periscope. <laughs> Sorry about that. And this one is English Ivy. <sighs> It's hard being a left-handed person in a right-handed world. There we go. This one is dried lavender. Isn't that pretty? Hmm. This is dazzling diamonds again. <laughs> I don't know what I did to that cart. Dazzling Diamonds again. Apparently, I was half asleep when I put this order in, but that's okay. You can never have too much, right? No, unless you talk to my husband. And this, look at this, it's so fun. It's Mardi Gras. It's a little Mardi Gras in a bottle. <laughs> So that's my haul for today. I'm really excited to be part of the Canvas crew. Um, they're amazing people. If you have a chance, go on, on the blog and check out all the amazing designers that they have. Um, we have a swap that I actually just went down to the post office to mail today. Um, we're swapping out ATC cards. And um, so, it, you know, it's funny sending stuff to Greece and all over. It's kind of neat. Like, I live in Shannonville, folks. <laughs> but anyway, um, so that's happening. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, we just got news yesterday that we are in a competition with another group of designers from another design line. So you're going to see that coming up on my blog in the next little while. Um, it's a color challenge. And I've been really thinking about the colors because it's, it's not an easy choice with these colors. But 
I'm going to get that one done. So there's lots of exciting things happening at my grandma's teacups this year. And I really hope that you'll subscribe and follow along and make sure that you share your comments. I'm pretty good about returning um, replies and paying attention to the social media stuff. Um, but if you get missed, then just be louder and, you know, put another comment on and keep going. And because it's I just love hearing from all of you and I love sharing ideas and you know, I'm so blessed to be in part of a group that is just so talented and and I've learned so much already. And I mean, it's January, right? But I mean, just seeing the work that these women are capable of, um, it's pretty exciting. I'm also on the Gecko Gals um, 2016 design team and they have such beautiful vintage images. I would really encourage you to go to their Etsy shop and um, look at some of their images. Um, plus they have every day, um, they rotate the designers that they feature and there's a free digital stamp on each person's blog. Today is actually, well, while I'm taping this, cause it's Friday, um, is my blog hop day or feature day rather. So if you go to my blog, you'll see the project that I made for um, Gecko Gals and also you'll be able to grab that free stamp. So even if I don't post this until next week, which probably that's when I'll do it, um, go back anyway and find Friday's post and grab that stamp because it's really nice. And the project that turned out so awesome with it, you'll, you'll love it. I would grab it right now, but I'd probably knock the camera over and everything. So just go on the blog and, and check it out, okay? And leave me some comments because I want to hear from you. I want to hear what you want to see. Um, I know I've done a few haul videos now and you're probably thinking, yeah, she keeps saying she's going to make all this stuff, but it's been just like a crazy, crazy end of last year. Like my daughter broke her knee and we were hit by a transport and it was just like bang, 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 lots of stuff to do. But I have all the stuff. I'm still going to do the projects and I'm going to get them and I'm going to get them posted for you guys. And yeah, happy 2016 guys and follow my grandma's teacups. Okay, bye.